We got some Galaxy Z Fold special edition information. Uh, we're gonna talk about a video that's been released. And also we're gonna talk about this, which is that you can actually buy a Galaxy Z Fold special edition on eBay. It's linked down below. And the price isn't all that insane. It's expensive. It's not insane though, especially when you compare it to what the phone actually costs. So the phone is like what? A little over 2000 bucks or so but you can actually buy it on eBay for as little as $2,700. After tax, it'll probably be like 2,900 bucks. So it's expensive, don't get me wrong, but I'm surprised people aren't trying to sell this for like $4,000 or something like that. So very nice pricing in terms of it not being outrageously inflated. It is, again, I know someone's gonna say, it's dude, it's whatever, 80% inflated or whatever it is. It is, but it's again, it's not completely crazy. I want to buy this, but man, $3,000, ooh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. <laughs> um, but it's cool to be able to have the chance to buy it, and now obviously it ships from Korea, and then you'll get it. And I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if it just ends up working uh, pretty good here in America. I don't know all the radio bands that it has, so maybe it won't work fully. Uh, I doubt it will work on Verizon, but with like AT&T and T-Mobile over here, it'll probably work pretty damn good. But beyond that, there was a guy that put out a YouTube video. One of my uh, viewers sent me a DM on Twitter. Thank you so much. Um, and, and showed me this video and it's actually really cool. It basically just kind of shows the video off. I'll link his video down below so you can watch it. Um, it is in another language. So <clears throat> unless you know that language, you're really just going to be watching the video and have him, have him, have him show him, you know, he's basically showing a walkthrough of the phone uh, and the hardware. But I, I like this because these are the kinds of videos, you know, you get flashy videos eventually from like MKBHD or somebody else, but I'll be honest, the types of videos I make and um, other people make like me, I like that stuff because that's like, it's real, it, it's meat and potatoes. It shows the actual device. It's not flashy and doing some cool cut to the phone. And I like this, you know, it's a real basic type of video, but it shows off the phone in a general sense, in a, you know, a kind of like a daily life way, meaning that, you know, just pointing it down, showing it off the looks and like a little bit of the software. And um, it looks big, which is good. And I think that's the only probably takeaway I'm taking from this for the most part is that it does look big on the outside and on the inside in a good way because of the 6.5 on the outside, 8.8 inch, 8.0 inch screen on the inside, but it's a cool video. So definitely watch it. We've got a very, very interesting story to start off with. It is about the Samsung Galaxy going away, meaning that Samsung Galaxy would not be the name of their premium phones anymore. They would get rid of Galaxy. The latest report coming out of E! Today over in Korea is like Hyundai Genesis, will Samsung Galaxy also create a luxury brand? Basically what they're trying to do, they don't want to create any confusion in the world because when you think about Samsung, Samsung Galaxy is like everywhere. It's on their tablets, no matter what tablet you get, basically from the good ones to the bad ones, or lesser ones, if you want to call them lesser, from the good phones to the lesser phones, and, like, and even their computers too. So they have too much of this, and it totally makes sense for them to come out with a luxury brand name for their higher end things, you know, something for the Galaxy Z Fold, something for uh, the Galaxy S24 5s, or whatever they end up coming out with. This totally, totally makes sense, and it's really, really smart that they end up doing something like this to create something different so people are like okay that's their luxury brand that's where all the that's the best of the best that they have to offer and then those the galaxy brand still good but it's a little bit lesser so this makes sense to me and i would like to see them actually do this after reading about and hearing about this in their article will they do it, it remains to be seen but i kind of feel like they're probably going to do it because it makes it makes sense but what about a really really interesting phone that we didn't get last year with an upgrade, but we're getting this upcoming year with an upgrade, the new OnePlus Open 2. This thing is seriously looking like the best spec folding phone that you will be able to get. Check this out. This is obviously rumor stuff, but the latest rumors coming out about this are that the large 
folding engineering machine, the general design continues the previous generation. The screen size has been increased, so they're gonna get bigger screens on the OnePlus Open. The rear center large round lens is gonna be 50 megapixel Hasselblad Master Tone Large bo uh, Bottom Main Camera plus 50 megapixel and 50 megapixel 3X telephoto. So you're getting 50 megapixels all the way around. The, also, the battery is gonna be 5,700 milliamps. This is amazing, guys. 5,700 milliamps is huge. It's 700 milliamps. Actually, it's more than 700 milliamps. Um, it's more than 700 milliamps than the other phones they, that are on the market for candy bars. This is great. Huge battery in there. So it's gonna support wireless charging, finally. It didn't last year, but it will this year. So you can expect most likely 50 watt wireless charging and 67 watt wired charging. Snapdragon 8 Extreme Elite, which is going to be one of the fastest processors up to 40% improvements all the way around with whatever you do. Customized USB-C port, not sure what that would mean. Uh, the main feature is extreme slimness, everything you need. This sounds amazing. Super slim, huge displays, huge battery, improved cameras, wireless charging, the fastest processor on the market, customized C port, whatever the heck that is, and slimness, I already said it, but that's amazing. This is going to be a beast. Um, obviously, software is everything, and their software is not bad, it's super fast. Um, it's gonna have the AI things built into it finally. It's gonna have Android 15 as well. This looks like amazing, but it is fast and it is smooth just like One UI 7. Ice Universe showed off One UI 7 running on an S24 Ultra, it looks like phone, or S24 Plus, or S24. But regardless, the animations on this One UI 7 are ridiculously smooth, to a point where I, this is going to make a big impact on the feeling of One UI 7 in such a positive manner. One of the holdbacks of One UI 7s is sometimes you get those jagged edges of animations. You get the jagged edges of using your phone. Sometimes it slows down, sometimes it does this. It's just not impressive. This is going to change those things, at least from what I can see off these leaked videos that come out about One UI 7 and what we've heard about One UI 7 is that it just looks magnificent in such a positive manner. And it's going to be the it's gonna be the change I think we need to have seen at this point. We're so many, we're like decades in to where, you know, the Samsung's has never been, I would say. I'm probably confident, I'm pretty confident in saying Samsung has never felt like the smoothest phone. From the day I got a Samsung phone, um, it's had amazing features, it's had uh, amazing hardware, and, it, but it's never had, it's never been super smooth. It's been laggy at times, especially in the past. And a lot of that stuff has been eliminated or minimized, but it's never been perfected. This, I think, finally perfects this instance of software and the overall feeling of when you use it. And it brings it to levels of looking like, anyway, OnePlus. It brings it to levels of Google Pixel phones. It brings it to levels of iPhone smoothness. And I've just, I personally, it, there's something about using a phone when it's really smooth that just makes the overall experience feel that much better. You can give us all of the features, you can give us all of the hardware, you can give us great looking displays, but if the software is either not there or it's really laggy and smooth or it's just not fully fully smooth, there's a feeling to it all and it looks like it's, it's there now. This is amazing, so. One UI 7, we're starting it off with this. Uh, it's obviously not out yet, and we don't have a definitive release date, but it looks like it might come out actually pretty soon, the beta. The latest information coming out has been tweeted by Tarun, who's saying that Samsung's One UI 7 beta is almost here. The official One UI 7 beta forum page has now been created on Samsung's community website, which means that the beta program could be open to the public soon and this is the page that he's talking about where you can see it says beta you see s24 uh through the ultra and all of that so we should be hopefully just a few 
who, I, I don't know, days, a week, maybe a little bit more away from an actual beta release. Because if we don't get the beta soon, there's a high probability we might not see the Galaxy S25 phones until later as well, unless they actually launch with One UI 6. The reason I even talk and think about this is because of a tweet put out uh, by Chun, who says that One UI 7.0 right now, still far from stable, and the vanilla S25 just green lighted to use only Qualcomm. I expect the S25 will have a later release than the S23 and S24. Now, does that mean we're not gonna see that phone until February? Uh, or does it mean, again, we're not gonna see One UI uh, 7, we'll see One UI 6 on the S25 phones? My guess, I mean, I, I'd be, hmm. it'd be it, it, it would actually almost surprise me if they, I, I mean, I obviously I expect One UI 7, but if we don't, for whatever reason, I still think they would release the phones early. I just think that they'd release it with One UI 6 and then push an update for One UI 7 shortly after. But that would be really, really crazy. Because when the Pixel phones launched, they didn't have One UI 15 or Android 15. They had Android 14. Usually they do launch with Android 15 or the newest version of Android. And we could see something similar with the Galaxy phones too, especially with how long this process is taking of actually getting the beta out. We're weeks behind at this point when we'd have the beta or the betas would start have already been rolling out and we don't have it. So you gotta believe and guess that most likely, unless something changes very, very soon that either, again, the S25 is either gonna launch late or that it's gonna launch with One UI 6 and that the phone will launch on time, but the software will come out later. I if, I, if I had to choose between the two, me personally, I'd rather have the hardware now and then get the software update a few weeks or a month later when everything is stable. And then even at that point, there's rumors that the S25 phones are gonna launch with One UI 7.1. If that happens, like say the software is not ready by the time of the launch of the phone, it's probably gonna launch with just One UI 7, not 7.1. We'll start off with One UI 7, because we keep hearing it's inching closer, it's further away, it might be delayed, it is delayed. When is it gonna come out? Well, we have some more information of potentially when it's going to come out. Per Ice Universe, it sounds like it's gonna come out at about November 15th, the beta anyway. So it says, the tweet is saying that it will take another half month before beta starts. Now, half a month, we're November 1st today, is November 15th. November has 30 days in it. November 30th is looking like the date for the launch of this. So two more weeks, guys, and the S24 series should be the first phone that gets the One UI beta. Then after that, hopefully, Z Fold 6, because that's my daily right now, but that's what we're looking at right now for the beta. Next up is the Galaxy Z Fold special edition camera, 200 megapixels, versus the S24 Ultra camera. Remember, that's also 200 megapixels. Which photo looks better? Ice Universe put up a photo of both phones taking a, a very similar photo. And when you look at both side by side, I have to personally give the win to the Z Fold Special Edition. The, the photo just has better colors. It looks a little bit clearer. It just looks a little bit better. Now, would I, if I looked at these super fast, would I notice much of a difference? Probably not. You really have to kind of look at it for a bit and be like, you know what? I think I prefer this one over the other. But yeah, I think I'd give the, the win on that to the Z Fold Special Edition, which is crazy, even though it has a 200 megapixel camera, because generally you wouldn't say, hey, I like the Z Fold camera better than the, the Ultra S phone. You just really wouldn't say that most of the time. But on this case, since they both have 200 megapixels and we've heard that the Z Fold Special Edition has better cameras, it shows in this photo. Now get ready to knock your socks off with more complications of the line from S25 and potentially more irritation, potentially, of this as well. Because there is a new slim Galaxy S25 Ultra coming out, but it's coming out after the release of the S25 series. Check this out. This is a tweet from the Galaxy saying that the S25 Special Edition, the new ultra thin S25 model will apparently launch in quarter two of 2025 as a direct competitor to the iPhone 17 Air. With this, the S25 series grows to five models 
S25 Special Edition, S25 Ultra, S25 Plus, S25, S25 Fan Edition, S25 uh, SE might also bring a new design. This is insane. It's so insane. I mean, it's just as insane as like all the phones they have for their, their A models and uh, I can't even think what the other freaking models are. Z, Z, X, I don't know what they're called. They have so many freaking models and phones. It's incredibly complicated. And then if they shorten special edition to SE and then you see FE, you're like, well, what the hell one's better? I would have to guess that the special edition probably won't come out um, here in America, especially the way they, they dealt with the Z Fold Special Edition, that being only in China and Korea. I guess that that's gonna happen here uh, as well. We're, we're not gonna get it in America and Europe and India and a lot of the other places. I would guess, if it does though, that we will hear about it on the launch of the S25 so that people aren't buying like an Ultra or a Plus or a regular, and then two, you know, a few months later, two, three months later, they're finding out that there's a thinner one with a new design and better specs or maybe the same specs, whatever it may be. I hope that when they do, again, if this is a worldwide release of this phone, I they have to tell us. Otherwise, it's gonna leave a really bad taste in people's mouths. But at the same time, I don't even know if I want this thing to come out here. It's like, I would assume it's probably not gonna be as good as the Ultra. I would assume it's probably gonna be something between the S25 and S25 Plus Edition, meaning it won't have the best cameras, but it have very similar cameras to those, but it'll be thinner and maybe they have a smaller battery. One UI 7 is just around the corner and I know some of you are gonna to want to sign up for the beta. And how do you do it? Well, it's very easy, but the first two things you wanna do is you wanna check in the Google Play Store and in the Galaxy App Store to make sure and check if you have any updates. So go into the Google Play Store first, check to see if you have any updates uh, for your apps. If you don't, then go into the Galaxy App Store and search for it. Once you find that, open it up at the bottom, hit the three lines and then go into updates and see if you have any updates. If you do, update it. Now you need the Samsung Members app. So if you don't have it, go back into the Google Play Store and search Samsung Members app. Open that up and from here, you wanna sign in with your Samsung account if it didn't do that already. Once you're in there though, what you're gonna do is at the top here, you're looking for a banner that ultimately says Galaxy One UI 7 Beta and you can enroll in it from there. You just tap into it and then go towards the bottom, hit the enroll button. And then from there, after you enroll, you wanna go into your settings. Once you're in settings, go all the way down, go to software update, download and install, and it will download and install the One UI 7 beta. Once it's done being downloaded, just restart your phone when it tells you to, and then you'll be in the One UI 7 beta program. But it's only gonna be available in the US, UK, uh, Germany, Korea, India, China, and PL. What's PL? I don't even know what PL is. You guys can tell me what PL is. So it's only limited to that. And also, it's initially, it's only gonna be for the S24 phones, and then it slowly it'll roll out. But that's the same way I showed you how to enroll. It's gonna be the same way you enroll for all of these things. But it should happen at the time I'm making this video, which is November 2nd. It should be happening in the middle of November, at least start for some of the phones. We've got some new information on Samsung One UI 7 and how it's different than iOS and other information about it that's really gonna pique your interest, trust me. So let's get in to this. This information is coming out from Samsung, Samsung, sir, and he's got a description based on a discussion with a One UI developer. And the latest build of One UI 7.0, finalized on October 31st, has been deemed stable enough for beta testing, which is not without issues, but the major problems have been resolved. Some of the issues, battery drain that was noted with battery life, which might be due to aggressive background processes or optimization in the new UI, app compatibility, some applications, especially financial apps, might face compatibility issues. This could stem from changes to the system security protocols that these apps need to adapt in. Animation quality, the animations in this build are notably 
smooth, providing a user experience that matches or rivals iOS and popular Chinese custom Android skins. The smoothness was particularly evident on the 24 Ultra, indicating that the device's hardware capabilities well leveraged by One UI 7.0 software optimizations. There are hardware differences. Users can expect a significant variation in performance between flagship devices like the S24 Ultra and mid-range phones. Flagship models with their superior hardware will handle the new animations and UI transitions much more fluidly than their mid-range counterparts due to differences in processing power, RAM, and display technology. A discussion highlights ongoing efforts to enhance user interface fluidity in One UI 7.0, aiming from complete directly with other leading mobile OS in terms of animation performance, while also noting that the challenges with battery efficiency and app compatibility, this still needs addressing before the final release. And then to finalize everything, 7.0 hasn't any copy paste animation from iOS. It is unique as Samsung's specifically instructed that to the developer team. So not only are we getting super smooth One UI 7.0, but the feel and look of it all in terms of the animations won't feel like just a copycat of what we get with iPhones or iPads or just iOS in general. But then added on to that, that we are just, as we've heard, a week or two away from actually getting One UI 7.0 pushed out as a beta release to the S24 series of phones. For me, I've always felt that the S24 phones, that the series has always felt smoother than the Z Fold line, which is kind of interesting because they both have the same processor. They both have the same amount of RAM. They do have different display technologies, but beyond that, everything hardware wise in terms of what makes the phone fast and fluid is the same. So I really hope that we finally see some matching, some pairing up between these two phones um, because I'm a folding fan. I know some of you guys that watch my audience are as well. And we want that same um, you know, side-by-side -side comparison to be really, really close, if not the same. So let me know your thoughts on this. Are you, are you really getting super excited for this or not? It's gonna be a good little uh, early Christmas present for everybody. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.